It's a story we've been following all day into this evening. Oregon Secretary of State Shamia Fagan resigning effective Monday. At 10 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. This major announcement also follows a Queen 6 investigation showing she was getting paid thousands after taking a side job consulting a cannabis company, all while Fagan's office was auditing the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission. She recused herself from that audit. In a letter earlier today, she writes, it's clear that my actions have become a distraction from the important and critical work of the Secretary of State's office protecting our state's democracy and ensuring faith in our elected leaders. These are the reasons I ran for this office. They are also the reasons I am submitting my resignation now. And as all of this is going down, dozens of county election officials, they are now preparing for special districts elections just two weeks from now. So we wanted to know the potential impact that this resignation could have on elections. We sent Jamie Seymour to find out, and she joins us live tonight. Jamie? Jeff Liz, the special district elections are set for May 16th across the state. And as some election officials tell us, things are still expected to move forward as planned. The countdown is on for Oregon's special district's elections as ballots are already heading out to mailboxes. Local community leaders step up to run for office. So they run for school boards, fire districts, water um, and things like that. Clackamas County has already mailed out 310,000 ballots, and Washington County has mailed out another 390,000. Uh, the 36 counties have all done a lot of work to earn voter trust in creating a smooth, transparent process. Beyond local municipalities and counties, one of the responsibilities of the Oregon Secretary of State is to oversee elections. With news of Secretary Shamia Fagan's resignation just two weeks before the special district elections, we're asking county officials how these could be impacted. Secretary Fagan's resignation won't affect the election. Um, our elections are, count, are conducted at the county level, and then we follow state rules and regulations. So this is conducted by your um, county clerks and your elections managers. According to the Secretary of State's office, the Oregon Elections Division and all 36 county elections officials are fully prepared to head the May 16th election, and the deputy secretary can step in as needed. We have it well in hand. And any events that are happening at the state level won't have any impact on how the election is administered. After Fagan officially steps down on May 8th, Deputy Secretary Cheryl Myers will take on oversight until a new secretary is appointed by Governor Kotek. Reporting live in Southwest Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. All right, Jamie, and tonight we're also hearing reaction from lawmakers across the state about Fagan's resignation. Governor Tina Kotek says Fagan informed her of this decision just today and says, I support this decision. It is essential that Oregonians have trust in their government. I believe this is a first step in restoring that trust. And during a virtual press conference to announce that she is ending her contract with Lamoda, where she was making $10,000 a month and had the potential for $30,000 in bonuses, Fagan said that she was struggling to make ends meet as a single mom with two kids on the Secretary of State salary, which is $77,000 a year. Does Oregon need stronger ethics or watchdog laws? Well, I, th I think they definitely need to be tightened up. And one of the ways, obviously, we can do that is to ban any outside income. There's no question that the pay needs to be raised. But again, it's not an excuse because people signed up to do this job at that pay and knew what that would be. Democratic State House leadership refused interviews about this today, but said in a joint statement, Secretary of State Fagan's severe lapses of judgment eroded trust with the people of Oregon. This breach of trust became too wide for her to bridge.